Welcome to this short video on SAP Business Objects 4.3. Let's take a look at the new BI Launchpad. There's been quite a radical redesign of this Launchpad, and what we have now is what are called tabs and tiles. So the tabs run from left to right along the top here, and they are Home, Favourites, which is a new feature. You can make documents your favourites. Recently viewed documents, recently scheduled documents, and applications. Tiles can be either for access to an area or access to a document directly. If we take a look into the folders, the view as much as it was before, except there's a new feature here, which is quite nice. If I go into a subfolder, you can see that there's a new breadcrumb menu that runs on the top here of the display. If you want to, you can use this breadcrumb menu to step back to a previous area, if so desired. You can also select the documents, and at the top right, you have a number of different options here to go in and act upon those documents. Another new feature, quite a nice new feature, if I go back for a second here to my personal folders, is they can change the view from list to a tile view. So you can get tiles to show you your folders and the documents as well. That's quite a nice new feature. Let's go back to the home. The documents tile takes you into the documents you have access to. So wherever they happen to be in the system, if you have access to that document, you'll see it listed in this document view. And again, you can switch that to be a tile view instead. Let's go back to home. Another new feature is a way to go and access all of the instances that either you've run yourself or that you have access to. And we can do that from this instances link. Now this was only available to the admin user in the console before, but it's now available to users in the BI Launchpad. To use this view, you go in and you can set the time period, do a search, and you can access all the documents from that listing just there, or all of your instances, I should say. This has got some nice, quite neat, it's got some nice features. I can go here and get a, a menu to filter by uh, the instance status. I can go to the document type, or I can even go and do a search for document. The recycle bin was available before, but it's now much clearer and much easier to use. If I go to one of my documents, let's say train doc two, I decide to delete that. Let's say that I realised that was a mistake, I want to get it back. I can go to my recycle bin. All I have to do is either just select it, and I've got the choices here, to restore it, or I could just right click on it and choose restore as well. If I go back to my documents area, back to my folders, it's back again. Let's go back to the home. Another new feature is at the top here, we have a, a web assistant. If I switch this on, then it highlights different parts of whichever page I'm on. So it's context sensitive. Whether I'm actually in the BI Launchpad or viewing a document, it will it'll give me help topics. And I can either click onto the help topic and it will open it up. I can go to the actual area of the window, click onto it, and it will give me information about that part of the window as well. Switch that off. At the top right, we've got the option to go in and change our settings. This is much as it was before, except there's a new feature here as well. I can change the appearance of my BI Launchpad. I can change the theme. So let's make it quite drastic. I, don't, I can go back, reset that again to the appearance it was at before. Another new aspect is I can reorganize the tiles in my BI Launchpad window. If I go to the settings at the top right here, choose Edit Home Page, I can change the position of the tiles for my main links, for my favorites, and for my applications. Let's just go back to the home once again. 
The last thing I'd like to show you that's new in SAP Business Objects 4.3 is their redesign of web intelligence. So if I go back to my folders and I decide to go and modify an existing document, what's changed is that the menu at the top here has been drastically reduced. So rather than having a very busy menu that was there before, I've now got a fairly simplified menu. So where are all the features that used to be here? Well, I've still got saving, access to my data, inserting the elements such as charts and tables. I can switch on and off different parts. I've got a new feature here where I can go in and I can change the zoom. I can affect the um, layout of my document and I can go to navigate from page to page. All of which was there, but these elements here were on the bottom right and they're now on the menu. But what about the rest of the options? Well, they're all hidden away on the right hand side here in two menus, one of, is, one of which is called the main panel. I switch the main panel on, I get access, access then to all of the objects available to me, my structure, yeah, navigation map if I have a section in my report, and comments if I've added comments to any, any of the elements in the report itself. There's also a formatting menu here. If I switch that on, it pops out. And depending upon what I select here on the left-hand side, I can then get different format options appearing here on the right. So quite a radical rehaul. If I want to close the document down, that's another new feature. At the top here is a drop-down menu. I have to choose this and I choose to go to the cross to switch it and switch it off. I can then go back to my home and I'm back at the end. And that's the end of our short video. Thank you for watching.